though he failed to win the Milano Cup for the Hutchinson 100. A 13-foot-6 sailing dinghy nears Britain's shores after an epic 77-day crossing of the Atlantic. American journalist Robert Manry, the man at the helm, was pretty lucky to be here. He'd been washed overboard six times during his lonely voyage. Here he catches a first glimpse of his two children with his wife, Mrs. Virginia Manry, aboard an escorting launch. For three days he'd been in the vicinity of Cornwall, but a sudden weekend storm kept him from making landfall. Now he's to get a hero's welcome at Falmouth, sister town of the Falmouth in Massachusetts, from where he sailed at the beginning of June. Mr. Manry accepted a tow for his last mile inside the bay, but as he'd intended, he had brought Tinkerbell single-handed to Falmouth. In these days of jet travel, when most of the world has been explored and there are few mysteries left, it's this type of rugged adventure which captures the public imagination. time in two and a half months he sets foot on dry land. A kiss for his wife then a joyous hug for 14 year old Robin his daughter and 11 year old Douglas. The mayor of Falmouth headed the civic committee which welcomed him ashore. The excited crowd cheered him to the echo as he made his way with a friendly police escort to his waiting car. What with the crowds, with police all around and one on top, this short trip on terra firma probably seemed more difficult and quite as hazardous as any part of his epic Atlantic crossing.